Good morning guys, how are you? Welcome back to another YouTube video. I am absolutely pumped for this video. I am so excited. I've basically organized a day out with Georgia. We're gonna be out and about in London, doing some things I think you guys are gonna really want to like come along with. It's a win-win for me because it's working, but I also get to hang out with a friend, do some cool stuff. And I think you're gonna really like coming along. So we've got a really fun day out planned. And we did this video, maybe like this time last year, where she kind of helped me film so it wasn't just like a traditional way of me vlogging and you guys really seem to like it so we're gonna try that again and then tonight I am going shopping with two of my very best friends Keisha's back for the summer from Jamaica and we're trying to see each other as much as we can me SJ and Keisha all have a long list of life admin things to do we are all very busy mums so we thought we would just like kill two birds with one stone and go to Westfield together tick a load of things off our to-do list whilst hanging out together. Sounds dreamy. Everywhere's open till 10 p.m. So we're gonna put the kids to bed and then we're all gonna meet in Westfield and oh, I actually can't wait, it's gonna be so fun. So I'm gonna bring you guys along with me for the whole day. It's gonna be epic. And the reason I'm able to do this and call this my job and hopefully put together a really entertaining video for you guys is because of the brands that work with me and obviously because of you guys who watch the videos. So I'm excited to talk to you about the sponsor for today's video who is a brand that I'm going to be working with over the next few months and I've worked with many times before. I love recommending this brand to you guys because it's really unique and it's just such a great idea that I've recommended to so many friends and family when they ask me about their skin, about skincare. It's Skin and Me. You may have heard me talk about this before, but you might be new to this channel. You may not have seen me talk about it before. So let me give you a quick brief overview on what Skin and Me is. Skin and Me is skincare made simple. If you feel really overwhelmed by the skincare world and you just don't even know where to start, Skin and Me will be your best friend. My monthly daily doser has just arrived. So let me open it up with you and show you what I'm talking about. So it's very, very easy to do. And when I started off my skin in me journey, my skin was just a mess. I was so spotty all around my nose, all around my chin. I just didn't really even know where to start. So I basically took photos of my bare skin, uploaded it onto the skin in me website, answered some questions, and they sent me my personalized daily doser. So the daily doser I had when I started my skin in me journey one or two years ago was different to the one I have now because they do check in and see how you're going, how your skin is changing, progressing, and you can re-upload photos. So that really helps if you need to change your kind of bespoke formulation. This is the Daily Doser. Can you see how it says for Lily? So it's literally bespoke for me, for my skin, for my skin concerns. The Daily Doser is brilliant because it just makes applying your skincare so simple. There's enough product in here to last a month and then when you finish, a new one arrives at your door. It's very, very simple. My one says what active ingredients I have in here and they do use very active ingredients so I recommend only using your Daily Doser as part of your evening routine. If you are taking this on holiday with you on your summer holiday this year, because it is so travel friendly, that's what I love about the Daily Doser. Like, look how small it is. It's so lightweight. Let me just quickly show you how it works. So you pop the lid off, and then can you see how it has enough for every day of the month? You literally just twist it until it clicks. And because it's giving you just the perfect dose every day, you know that it's gonna last you a month. So you don't have to worry about finishing it too soon or not using enough. I think that's just so brilliant. It makes skincare super simple for people who just don't know like how much product to use, when to use it. That is your evening dose done. So there's no waiting around for appointments, no need to go anywhere. Everything can be done from home and it arrives super quick. I don't know about you, but sometimes when I travel, sometimes when I go on holiday I take so many kind of travel size products that I end up mixing and changing up my routine and then my skin just like 
hates it and they come back from holiday with terrible skin because I've just been using like all these random travel size products. So the Daily Dose it is perfect for traveling and you can just throw that in your travel skincare bag. But as I was saying before, make sure if you are using this on holiday or even when you're using it at home, it is active ingredients. So always follow up the next day with a really good SPF. If you've been wanting to try Skin In Me and give it a go, I've actually got a code. My code is LILYP08 and it means you can get your first Daily Dose for $4.99 and a free trial of the Daily Defense SPF. It's so clever, bespoke skincare without having to even leave your home. And I am very happy with how my skin is looking these days. I will leave all the information down below in the description box. I've got to go soon because I've just got an alert on my phone saying that the tube line, which I go on, has severe delays because of flooding. It's the end of July. There was so much rain last night. It's just, I don't, I can't even, us Brits need a summer. The winters are so long and just depressing. It's not okay. It's not okay for there to be floods in July. So I need to find another way to get into town. I just looked at another route and it says it's gonna take like 90 minutes. I'm heading across London. Oh my God, I really need to do my makeup. Can I do my makeup while I chat to you? Heading across London to go to the design museum because because the Barbie exhibition is on and it looks so good and I thought that would be such a great thing to kind of show you guys. If anyone's looking to go, I can kind of give it a little mini review or if anyone's not able to go, I can give you a little sneak peek. Okay, actually I have zero time so I'm not gonna do my makeup on camera. I'm gonna crack on and chat to you in a minute. This is what I'm wearing today. It is going to rain later today so I'm gonna have to take an umbrella which is a bit annoying to carry but I feel like this is a really good example of how the color analysis has really helped me because I have this short trench from Arquette which I love. I think if I was wearing it with a more kind of neutral t-shirt it would just be a really nothingy outfit. These are my jeans from Monkey, my New Balance trainers. I mean I really wish I could wear like a gorgeous summery outfit especially because I'm going to the Barbie exhibition but the weather is just not allowing it. But yeah anyway I'm put on this red t-shirt underneath which is from And Other Stories. I'll link it down below. It's just a really great cut. I've got it in a really nice blue as well. Put on some necklaces. Got my Loewe bag and I think because of the pop of red it just really helps kind of pull everything together. Makes me look a little bit more alive. And yeah, it's it's not a summary as I would like, but I feel I feel comfortable and happy in it and I'm going to be walking around the whole of London in the rain. So, let's head out, start making the long journey to go and meet Georgia. Severe delays in the rest of the line due to earlier flooding caused by heavy rain. Avoid and metropolitan line as well. Hi. Hi. Oh, I've got lipstick on. museum everything is looking very pink there's a shop i'm so excited let's go in george is here hi Hello. let's head in it's looking pink already oh my god it's so pink oh my god. imagine if gray's bedroom had this barbie doll 1959 i think my auntie actually gave me one of her old barbies when she was little oh it's a little video about the first barbies that were made in japan you know you're older when you get to the age where you actually want to sit and watch the film in the museum. <laughs> There's a whole timeline of Barbie from 1945 to now. The best part being when she became an astronaut in 1965, four years before any man walked on the moon. Go Barbie. This is like a marketing person's dream. The first one and the last one are the same. So they've like gone back to the original logo, which I think is the best. That makes me feel sick. A chandelier of hair. That is, that's not. Although Barbie hair is so soft. <laughs> Look at all the different hair. Love it. Also the high pony, epic. These are like the Barbies that my mum would have had when she was little. I feel like the heads were bigger. <laughs> oh my God, these are like all the Barbie doll's house. Like, is that what they're called? Dream house. Sorry, doll's house, who am I? These are like retro. Oh my God, Carnaby Street. That. That's like a Rixo Barbie dream house. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Georgia, this is very you. It's like 70s vibes. Oh my God, it is from the 70s. I have found my like teenage bedroom and I just looked at it, it says 1998. <laughs> I literally had that inflatable chair, but I think I had it in a lime green. 
Also, I just remember these sofa beds so much. The lava lamp, everything about this. This is my teenage bedroom, guys. Every time I get excited about something, I look at the little label, it says 1995 or 1998. <laughs> this is definitely my era, 1995. Little Barbie post office. <laughs> I thought I'd scope it out to see if it's like appropriate for Grey, but I'm worried if I bring her here, she's just gonna want like every Barbie dream house, like especially that massive one, which they actually sell now with the slide. It's just like bigger than her bedroom. The PR is just so good. The Barbie on the front of Time magazine and it says, now can we stop talking about my body? <laughs> so good. Oh, they're talking about the person that makes all the props. Oh my God, can you imagine making little tiny Barbie clothes? Okay, let me sit and show you what I got. I haven't even been to the actual Barbie shop yet. I just went to the design museum shop. But I love a museum shop. Also, I just think it's such a good place to buy presents. Oh my God, sorry, I'm just like getting undressed. Okay, very quickly, I got one of these kind bags. I just love these, they're like foldable tote bags. So I can just chuck it in because I never know if I'm gonna need a bag or not. So these are really great. This, so cute, so random. I don't even need it right now, but I feel like it's one of those things I wanna hold on to one day when I want to have nice things on my shelf. Look how cute this is. It's a little soft serve van. You could just put it on the shelf. And I love the colors, I love the little ice cream on the top. Okay, I also got a print, trying to build that gallery wall in my kitchen. And I really liked the green of the pear. I can't really show you when it's in the tube. And, oh my God, I saw this print, which is of a Game Boy. It's like how a Game Boy is constructed and I literally have this Game Boy from when I was a kid in my loft so I love that um, and then just a little bookmark I thought that was really pretty and it's soft and it might encourage me to read more books <laughs> I'm gonna put everything in my um, bag actually because I didn't get a bag I'm just gonna take a quick look in the Barbie shop to see if there's anything I can get for great because I can't help myself I'm gonna try not to spend too much but even if it's just something little I think she would love it I think I might bring her back you know it's a little bit too old for her in terms of like really looking and understanding all the history parts but it's a museum full of Barbies I think she would love it okay I decided not to get her anything mean mother she actually didn't know I was going there today but it's not mean it's because I know I'm gonna come back here with her and she's gonna want something from the shop so I might as well just wait and get her something then uh, we're just gonna walk through Holland Park actually uh, we were gonna go somewhere called Megan's for lunch but they are shut today um, so we're gonna walk through Holland Park and go to the Holland Park cafe which I think is run by Daisy Green, which is a cafe chain. So they've kind of like, they do the Holland Park Cafe. I think, I'm very hungry. I would love some food and I never get to come to Holland Park. So I thought it'd be nice to walk through. But it's so nice around here. Never been to this cafe ever. Okay, there's a lot of good stuff on the menu. This is a really good, I feel like cafes in parks are normally really bad and it's just sandwiches. So this is a very good one to know. I don't know what to have, okay? It's either, there's a lot of options. Sweet corn fritters sound amazing with poached eggs. Mm, I've had those before, they're really good. Um, or there's also like a starter that's panko fried halloumi with pomegranate, lime, and mint yogurt. That sounds amazing. Oh my god, crispy Australian banana prawns. What is that? What's it? Don't you hate when things are just ruined? I was just reading one that I thought was nice until I saw. Where is it? Fennel sausage. I just absolutely ruined it. I hate fennel. Um, there's cheeseburgers, there's chicken parmigiana. There's a salad where you get like a mix of three salads and you can add a protein. Do you know what you're having? This might help me. Maybe the salads. Well, but then like, I also thought that the halloumi sounded amazing. Well, we, that's, that's the starter so we can share the halloumi. Okay. I'm gonna go for the sweet corn fritters with smashed avocado, poached eggs, red pepper, habanero, almond sauce, feta, and corn rib. But I, what I really want is the um, cheeseburger. <laughs> it just feels a bit much for 12.30. Okay, this looks amazing. Halloumi fries, mm, so good. And then this is mine, poached eggs, sweet corn fritters, sweet corn rib. This is like the thing now, these sweet corn ribs. Georgia got the three salads. Did you get protein in the end? No. Oh, Georgia. <laughs> got halloumi, does that count? Um, Feta was an option. So it's does just... halloumi count as a protein? I don't know. <laughs> right, I'm just gonna check out the ice cream selection. Not so sure about the peach iced tea ice cream. Just kind of 
bit nothingy. Bit nothingy with the aftertaste of tea. We decided to jump on a bus and we have cut our activities a little short today, but we're gonna go finish off an edit that we've been doing, we've been working on for ages for YouTube. So we're gonna head to So House, grab a plug socket, do some editing. We're just walking through Notting Hill to get to So House and I realized I should be showing you this. Georgia just said that this is the shop from Paddington too. I did not know that. I mean, it's got scaffolding, so you can't really see. But look how cute, like a bit of a few of the markets are actually open, even though it's a weekday. It's pretty quiet. So nice around here. Guys, look how cute yeah, this stall is. Time, All the crocheted fun things. <laughs> I like this one. Georgia's just having a look, but we think that this might be where Notting Hill was filmed. I feel like a really weird tourist today. I feel like this is this is real strange. <gasps> Georgia, what? look! This is what I was looking for. <gasps> oh my goodness. I might buy one too. Uh, look, I didn't realise that you can use your existing phone cases with them. This is what I need, guys. I've got an irrational fear of someone stealing my phone at the moment. I don't know why. The other day in Tesco, I had a meltdown. I thought someone had stolen my phone out of my handbag. Turns out I was talking on it. It was it was stressful. But <laughs> I think it's just because I'm convinced it's going to happen soon. I think it's because of all the stuff on TikTok and Instagram. I keep getting served videos and yeah. people get their phone nicked. I don't know why. I've never been worried about it before. Should I get a red one? I mean, it wouldn't work today, but in life it would work. You're quite a green person. Oh, a white goes with everything. We'd get dirty, dirty. though. I'm gonna get one of these. Film me. So yes. And when you're filming on my phone, your fear is intense yes. because it's someone else's phone. It's even worse. Yeah. How fun. Are you gonna get one? Yes, but I want this color. Okay. More colors inside. More colors for phone cover. Well, I'm glad I asked that random, lovely French lady where she got her strap from. I was like, excuse me, where's your strap from? She didn't understand what I was talking about, but she said from this shop. Look at you. Hands free. Oh my gosh. Do you love it? I love it. <laughs> To take the case, to take the case off. Wait, so does this clip onto this? But put it through first, put it through your case first. The, that, Oh, okay, through. so this just slips into that, and yeah. then that, you open this up, right? Yeah. Why is that not easy to do? Maybe you don't need much space to get it through. Let me ask him. Oh. come back out and be like hello okay look there you go that bit just goes in there like that can we go before he comes out and goes yeah. like why are you shouting for me <laughs> you can, if you make it longer you can do like a over the mm. i think that's maybe a bit cooler there you go it's a bit red a bit red and red Ooh. isn't it there you go protected <laughs> literally about 20 minutes ago i said to georgia you can go home now if you want and now i'm <laughs> just dragging you around the market oh that goes waistcoats so she's, lo she's loving it really. <laughs> Georgia, I think you need to have um, a ginger juice. Apple lemon ginger for the goodness. Or like a ginger shot. I'll take a ginger juice. I will do a ginger juice. It's my favourite. Do you? Yeah. Ugh, I hate ginger. I feel like I've literally come out of like a cave. We've been in an editing hole for hours, um, but we got loads of editing done. Um, but yeah, it's nice and bright out here. It's really dark in there. Me and Georgia are gonna part ways. I'm getting the bus to Westfield. It made no sense to go home when I'm kind of that part of London already. Um, I'm gonna be there super early, but I'll have dinner by myself and wait for the girls to meet me there later. So let's jump on a bus. I'm in Westfield on my own for a couple of hours before the girls arrive. I don't know how much vlogging I can do on my own because I'm mortified. now to find the girls. Look who I found! Oh, oh we're very colourful. We're like primary <laughs> colours. I am furious at you. <laughs> I said, SJ just said, Keisha, did you take a mental note of where we parked? And I said, take a photo because you're never, we're never going to get out of here. <laughs> did you take a photo of the right thing? Let me see. Are you sure? Of where all the different floors, oh, no. which floor did you have gone? The no, I'm top, not joking. The top, the top, the top. Oh, the are the you top. sure? Yes, there was, there was scars. I will the actually, bottom. seriously, we've done this before. My mum couldn't find her car and we were here for so long. I need, you know what apparently <laughs> you should put is, you know when um, Apple do those luggage label things? You need, a t you need put one in your car. Ash, you need one for everything. No, you need one in your shoes. <laughs> it's just freaking out because she's 
something she bought still has the tag, tag on and it's bead paint and she's come back and now she feels like she's stolen it but she hasn't so wait you've got a voucher for Zara yes but I don't want to shop because it's stressful I don't we're literally here to I know, shop but it's just with like no so kids how, how much more no, but you have to at some point. What sort of thing are you after? Not live with that. No, what, what? seriously. Don't I don't know what I need. I wear the well, same just one wear in Jamaica. <laughs> no, seriously. It's all very summery, actually. It's quite good. What about like a red dress? No. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Look at that. Look at that. <coughs> See? Oh, no, too much. <laughs> Can you stop dressing? When like do you go out? Like places where you wear nice things like that? It's gonna be like a dinner outfit, but then they're like, I can't wear a bra. <laughs> oh, it's too much now. <laughs> We're just in the kids section of Zara. I'm getting all the sale stuff that I can find, and SJ's found something for herself. What age is it? 11 to 12? 13 to 14. 13 to 14. Okay, that's slightly more. Um, that is cool. I'm so jealous. You can get shoes. For oh no, you can't. You have big feet. I have huge hands. What size are you for? I buy kids shoes. Oh my god, I'm jealous of it. Ash, I like that. <laughs> and also, you're wearing a big jumper, so it actually would fit better if you weren't. I'm wearing a vest underneath just a big jumper, so I can't try I mean, the arms are a bit, a bit I think, you maybe you could cut a little slip underneath the bottom. Yeah, I think if you were wearing like a long, not such a big jumper, or a t-shirt. <laughs> okay, that's not fair. Oh, there's more t-shirts here. I'm really enjoying all the 3 dollars t-shirts. We're in Primark. I need to get stuff for the kids for holiday. Keith, you can wear this. Over a bikini? Yeah, that's how I imagine your life, by the way. <laughs> Just in a bikini all the time. Oh my God, I feel like we had this when we were young. It's like a rah-rah skirt. Those boots, those like boots Shelly's. Really they were called Shelly boots, weren't they? No, I don't know. Shelly's? Maybe you bought them from Shelley's. The boots yes, the that were like slouchy oh boots. Yes, it was the slouchy boots. What's on your list? <laughs> Why are you drinking? Because <laughs> it really likes about to... <laughs> I know, no. these new lids. <gasps> oh my god! They spit that everywhere. <laughs> What's on your list? Oh um, god, really? Such a list pad. I know, what? I'm like the opposite of a list pad. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is me. I need this. I know, I saw this earlier and thought of you. <laughs> You do need Leia that. Loves oh my gosh, you need that. <laughs> Grip socks, a light jacket, leggings, and a baseball hat. <laughs> <laughs> I need boys' t clothes for holiday, but I know I'm going to end up buying loads of girls' clothes because she's cracking up. The girl stuff is easier to buy. Do you remember these bras that we used to these? Yes, Keish, you're still in one of those, don't lie. Um, boys' sections, always so disappointing literally nothing for Rudy for holiday. There are some very good straw bags in Primark at the moment. I use that just on the weekend as well. Yeah, that is good. Also really like this uh, long beach cover up that SJ's gonna try on. What do you think about, um... <laughs> can you imagine? I actually, I actually really need a holiday hat, but I just... That's cute as well. That is cute. Completely not practical, but yeah. Right, SJ, show me this top that you've got. One? This leopard print one. Oh, you put no, it back? It's a, yeah, it's a dress. But I was yeah, but I think that's cool with a white t-shirt. I know, but then I'm not going to try it on and I don't think it's going to work. Mm. I really enjoy the fact that we hyped up this evening and it's like, woo, fun night out. And we're all just so tired <laughs> and flagging. Yeah, we're trying, we're trying really hard. Like, yeah, those look really nice. <laughs> We're all so tired. I've just, if I just changed your life, mm, I've just taught Keisha how to turn notes into like tickable lists. Changing. We're leaving Westfield. Semi. -se I think you did the best, SJ. Oh, you got the best because you need to stuff for your girl when there was good girl stuff. All right, we're heading back. We're flagging. You got some what? Oh yeah, you did. Good morning guys. Sorry I didn't finish the vlog last night. I got back at like 11 and it was dark and 
I was just so tired, like it was such a fun day, but I had been out of the house from like 9.30 a.m. till 11 p.m. So lovely though to catch up with Keisha and SJ and just do a little bit of shopping. I need to go to Westfield more in the evening, like that is the way to do it. I'm gonna wrap up this video now because I'm literally filming another video tomorrow where I'm gonna be showing you guys what I'm packing for my holiday. It's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be like a beefy packed video. So make sure you watch that one. I'm gonna be showing you like all the different outfits that I'm planning to take with me, some like kids toys to entertain them while I'm away, uh, stuff that I'm packing beauty wise. It's gonna be a good one so I need to go and prep for that. Can I just say I am absolutely chuffed with this. I wish I'd got another color as well. It's so handy. I'm so happy I just asked that lady where she got hers from <laughs> and found the store. Wasn't expecting that. But before I wrap up this video I just wanted to remind you that this video has been sponsored by Skin and Me. Thank you so much to Skin and Me and I will put all the details and links down below in the description box if you want to give it a go yourself. You can use my code LILYP08 and that will get you your first daily doser for just $4.99 which is amazing and it will also get you a free trial of their daily defense spf so don't forget to check out everything in the description box and thank you guys so much for watching i'll catch up with you in the next video bye